Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Now, I'm sure you have a couple questions. Well, one, why is a silly little guy who drinks water making an omelette? I don't know, I just, you know, I, I cook, okay? I, I like to cook, and sometimes I get the house to myself, and in fact, I can do these. And two, did you really put your laptop in a fridge for the opening? You bet I did, baby. Okay, so, well, this video is about making omelettes. Now, what you're gonna need, and it's quite simple, this, this masterful recipe of mine, just gonna need a bowl, three eggs, a quarter cup of milk, which is like, if I can find it, that much, shit, that much, you really don't need much milk at all. So, uh, yeah, and a fork, and a pan, and butter, but we'll get to that, okay? We'll get to that. Let's begin. All right. All right, so now for this professional camera angle, you're gonna want a quarter cup of milk, like so. Just over the bowl, preferably, so that you don't screw it up. Got to push the bowl a bit in, and there you go. There's your milk. That's all you need. Surprisingly small amount, but it makes sense. Okay, now you're going to need your three eggs. Delicious. Got to save the eggshells for some extra taste later. Okay, now all you got to do is you got to whisk them around. Very simple process, but an effective one. Now, if we get a more intimate angle here, we can see that this, it's very much just what you'd expect. It's egg and milk. But you keep whisking it around for a, little, a bit, just a bit. And believe me, I'm not the best at cooking. When I said I liked cooking, didn't mean that I was any good at it. All right, that looks about good. It's exactly what you'd expect from milk and egg. Okay, but now here comes the fun part. Fire. All right, now I've got some of our aforementioned butter. Delicious. You put it in. And yes, I know I like to use a fair bit of butter, but don't judge me, okay? I can pack on a bit of weight. Now, you just spread it around. You know, you gotta, you gotta prime the pan. You gotta get it ready for that scrumptious egg and milk. Soon to be omelette. All right, that seems good enough for me. You get your egg and your milk, and you put it right in. And it's effectively like a pancake at this point. You just wait for it to get good. Eventually, you gotta flip it over, and you know, this is a big omelette. This is like, hand for reference, I got small hands, but it doesn't matter. Hand for reference, it's a, it's, a, it's a huge omelette. This is the spoon I'm using. It doesn't fucking matter, it's a small spoon as well. Point is, we got an we got, we got an egg pancake, pretty much. That's what an omelette is. And like any pancake, you just gotta sit there and let the magic happen. Now I will take this time to put the butter back in the fridge. And all the stuff that I've removed to actually put the laptop in the fridge. Like hummus and spaghetti. And this lettuce I harvested from the garden not too long ago. Alright, I'm back with you. Okay, so you see how it's starting to bubble up a bit? That's good. That means it's working. And of course, the bubbles are probably going to explode. So. We get this, and you put it over, just to save yourself, because, you know, safety's important. And now we continue to wait. Going back to my Greek roots, we're gonna use a hop, makeshift hop light shield with, um, yeah, this. We're gonna protect ourselves just in case everything splatters. Slowly but surely, we're making some progress. Now, this is the part that always fucks me up. It's flipping this thing, because this thing is huge, yeah? So, 
Flipping it's a bit of a challenge and usually I end up destroying it. But we'll see how it goes this time. As you can see, it is solidifying in areas like this. This is good. This means your pancake is forming. Now we do have these air bubbles here and as I mentioned, it's probably good to protect yourself. But for the sake of the video, I put myself at risk for you beautiful souls. Alright, we're probably a bit early, but it's go time, baby, so... We just have to flip this like so, or not like so. Don't actually copy my flipping technique, it's absolute ass. This isn't gonna end well. Oh, shit. Hang on, this is still salvageable. Oh, shit. You know what, we, it, it gets fragmented, but we prevail. Oh shit. All right, hang on. Bear with me. You know what? Look, in my defense, I told you I wasn't good at this. So, you know, it's a different size, but it still tastes the same. Well, that's what she said. But anyway, it is almost good to go. Very, very nearly. In fact, we can probably take the heat off. So, we'll just let it do its thing now. But in my eyes, this is a good omelette. This is as good as it's going to get from me, at least. Um, this, is, this has no seasoning on it currently, but you know, you add that. So let's take it off. If you excuse me, I actually got to go eat it now because, you know, that's what you do with food. So, I hope you have a wonderful day, a beautiful rest of your week. More content coming soon, but I got exams up, that's why it's all slowing down. Got to study up, got to make my brain huge. But anyway, that's the omelette, and that's, yeah, that's that. I'm glad I didn't actually completely fuck the omelette up this time. It is fragmented, once again, doesn't change the taste, and I'm no picky eater. So, yeah, once again, hope you have a fantastic day, a beautiful rest of your week, and as always, goodbye.